What's up everybody, Roger and Victoria here, founder of This Kingdom Podcast. In this episode, we're going to be talking about Spider-Man Homecoming, sharing our thoughts. I'm going to be honest, probably we're going to go full on spoilers, we're, we're not going to worry, it's been out for the weekend. If you are trying to avoid spy, spoilers, he did get bit by a spider, um, you just might want to check this one out a bit after you've seen it. But, so first off, Victoria, what were your initial impressions of Spider-Man Homecoming? Loved it. Loved it so much. I mean, I fell in love with Tom Holland as Spider-Man back in Civil War, so I already knew I was really going to enjoy him, his interpretation of it, and I was not disappointed. Yeah. Um, I'm going to be honest. For me, again, I absolutely loved it. I thought it worked. It worked very, very well. I think for me, I love the fact... It didn't. It didn't have that origin feel to it. it. You know, they literally. You know, he had the little quips. You know, with his friend, kind of asking him sort of really dumb questions, um, and kind of gave him a chance of no, no, I can't spit venom, and oh, I got bit by a spider, and um, and just flush over it. You know, we know who he is. He's up and running. We don't have to worry about it. But what I loved was the humor, the youthfulness. You know, the idea that he's only fifteen years old, he's a kid, and it just brought back to the idea of him being. A youngster, and I feel like the previous movies, you know, Tobey Maguire looked about, and Andrew Garfield were well in, looked like they were well into their mid thirties when they did it, and it, you know, they were at college, but they, this feels like he's a he's a kid, and that's what Spider Man always was to me, is you know, the cartoons and the comic books, and that fun, a real fun factor of him being young and being at high school, and you know, and I just thought that worked so well. No, I agree. I really like that they went back to this vision of Spider-Man because I, I've honestly, I've never liked Spider-Man two or three or any of the ones with Tobey Maguire. I'm sorry, he, it was just too intense for me, especially for someone that's supposed to be in high school. I'm like, just understand there's some struggles going on, especially since you're a mutant. But it's like there was no, it, there was no. We don't mention the release. mutant. We don't mention the mutant word. You know, Fox. Oh word. yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, yeah, so before they come and sue me. <laughs> like, I mean, I, I prefer that interpretation so much more than the originals. Mm. It just, I mean, it just felt like as well, I thought the interactions with having Iron Man in there and being kind of the mentor. And I definitely felt, it, it, you know, Robert Downey Jr. kind of, he played it well, but at the same time, you know, he, he wasn't, he wasn't overbearing. I mean, the idea of him taking away the suit and then basically sort of saying, you know, you need to, Go out. You need to be. More, you are more than the suit, which I thought was funny coming from Iron Man. Um, but also the idea that you know that they were going to induct him into the Avengers, and you know they kind of ducked out of it. And the inter, the way they had Captain America in there, you know, it 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 felt good. It, and they you know they tied in new future villains and stuff with the Scorpion, and just generally as a whole, I've, I was just came out of it just like like this was this was great. This is fun. It, that's definitely a, a movie I will pro watch lots because I, it doesn't suffer from that same problem of sometimes some of them are, can be a little bit boring. It kind of jumps straight into it with him being Spider-Man. No, I definitely agree. I I just, I, I, it's very rare that I walk out of a movie feeling really satisfied. The last time I did that was Wonder Woman, mm. which wasn't that long ago, but <laughs> I just love all the little tie-ins that they did. I love the, the mention of Miles Morales. Morales. Mm if I said that right, but <laughs> yeah. I love the mention of him and Scorpion, like you said before, um, like Tony Stark being Tony Stark as always, yeah. and Mary Jane, I love Mary Jane. It was odd because um, they obviously, you know, they spent the whole thing of setting her up as this like really like weird kid that, you know, was like, you know, was, you know, would go to detention just to look at miserable people and, you know, um, I mean, I have the, the actress that played her. I don't know her from, you know, I know she's been in Disney TV shows. I don't know her from that. So this is like the first time I've really seen her or anything. So if, I thought the way she kind of acted cool and was into him, but not the whole thing of him then turning around going, oh, well, my name's MJ. It's like, I did actually kind of go, oh, it's like, I'm, to me, you know, MJ's, you know, the redheaded model. That's what she was from the comic books and the things it just it was almost that thing of like oh, i'm not too sure of that I, it was like i really like her as a character but they could have just said her name was michelle and that would have been fine as a just an interest well stay away from mary jane kind of thing so I, that was the only one issue on i did also have an issue with flash but that's a different thing oh yeah yeah I, i'm not gonna lie that's the only issue i really had was flash but that like you said it's a whole other thing but a lot of people 
did have issues with um, Zendaya's portrayal as Mary Jane, which I, because they're so used to, you know, yeah. redhead model. I, I'm open to different interpretations of certain characters, so it didn't really bother me too much, but I knew it was a big deal when they first announced it. Yeah, and they kind of, kind of fudged around it a bit, and they kind of denied it, and they kind of very much kind of, so they I to be honest, the last thing I, I remember mean, doing articles and stuff on the fact that she kept saying it's not them and it's not her, and it's like, well, yeah, it was, but we kind of didn't, you know. I didn't, I don't know, I, I definitely, but I will say, as a cat, the character itself was very intriguing. I liked the way she was doing it and the interaction that she, you know, she was the geek and she was, you know, a friend with all of the, all the geeks and stuff. And I, I did actually think she was a great character. I will, you know, I almost felt like, like I said, it could have been, she could have been an entirely different character and it would have, I still would have thought the character worked very well. Just as MJ, I'm like, okay, they're doing something different. They're going to throw this up, like we said, with Flash. Because I'm now looking at Flash Thompson and I'm going, you're supposed to be the jock. You're supposed to be... You know, exactly. You know, and also you're going to be, you know, you become Venom and, you know, or not so much, but you become like, I think as Agent Venom, I think he become in the comic books and... You know, he was always this bit, you know, I think, again, you go back to, like, to me, you know, he was always a jock. I mean, you can say, you know, maybe he, he did act, you know, a jackass, you know, he was picking on people, he was the bully, but it, and you could say, well, it, he's a modern day, you know, it's just a different take on it, and it's a different interpretation, and, you know, in some ways, you know, race and all the rest of it, that's just, you're almost blind in some ways. You know, all the, all the all his friends is completely. It doesn't mean anything. Everyone is completely fresh, and I I have no problem with that. As if that's the way they're going to go, and everyone, you know, can just you know the character is a character, and they can anyone can play it, and anyone can do it. But it was that thing. Oh, it's quite quite different. It's very different from what I was expecting. Um, I don't mind different to a extent, but with this interpretation of Spider Man, I had no issues with that flash. That was literally. And that was something like small mm. to me, so I had no problems. I loved it. Yeah, I, it was very much. I feel like that's very much on the nitpick of me. I did wonder with like the um, the suit as well, um, all this kind of the Iron Man kind of stuff. It was a little bit like that. Felt like that should have been in the Iron Suit rather than the main suit, you know. And all this, like, I mean, I love the interaction with him having like his own version. Of Jarvis, who actually is actually the wife of the actor that plays it. I think Jennifer Connelly from Labyrinth. She was in it. Um, oh, really? Yeah, I didn't know that. Um, yeah, I only read that so today on Twitter, and it's that thing of I enjoyed the interaction he was having with her, and you know, sort of teaching him about his suit and stuff. Um, and it definitely felt like you know, those other questions as well being brought about. You know, has he got spider sense? Because he wasn't. He never. You know, that whole thing of his you know, spider sense is tingling, and the way it, he would react. You know. We never really got any of that, so that's something else that could be brought up. I feel like they were kind of saving that for the next movie, though. Like, you can't put all your eggs in one basket with one film. No, no. It was, I think it was just that thing. Like, I mean, I really am kind of in this, like, nitpicky kind of thing of, like, going, as a whole, I just enjoyed it. And I, it's that thing of, you know, I had this feeling that it was going to be this fun spider-man movie and it did hit every moment no it was exactly what it should be and it wasn't he wasn't dark and brooding you know i the idea of him having that you know his sort of sort of scarlet spider kind of jog, jog, you know his jogging suit kind of wrestler attire kind of thing of it's like it's, it's i know he had to take it away to get it back but i don't know that was the only thing i could kind of felt like this is the act problem when you've done it backwards. This is, you know, this is kind of the man, it's the, like the Batman versus Superman situation where you're trying to run before you can walk and you hadn't set that up. Yeah, I, I, um, yeah, I mean, I, I honestly just wasn't a fan of Batman versus Superman at all because it just had that issue with tension release where there was so much tension but no release. And that's, yeah. that's a big issue when it comes to filming. It's just like you gotta, if you're gonna have tension, you have to have the release. And, the whole movie was just so intense. And yeah. I'm, no, I couldn't do it. No. And I like the, I think with Spider-Man, I think they did a good job of like little battles, little wins, little victories along the way. You know, he, you know, yeah, he lost his first battle with the Vulture and, you know, Iron Man came in and saved him and all this droid did. Um, 
but there were these little wins for him, you know, and what he did in the in the Washington Tower and all these kind of things, and him him doing the bank rob, you know, it set up, set him up the the fact that he needs to do this this small stuff as because the big stuff he's not ready for, and I think that played into this whole thing. I could have done without it being Tombs being the dad. It felt a little bit. I mean, I I'll be honest. I didn't when he opened the door and he's there, you know, standing there. I mean, I probably should have known it was going to be him, but I was mm-hmm. a bit like I was a bit like okay and then you know they're in the tax and stuff I was like well, we, did we really need for the villain to know who he is that's so cliche yeah we could have not have had that to be quite honest but i mean that's a director's choice mm. but i mean it is what it is but i feel like they're gonna have a lot of character growth like they're definitely setting it up for you know other films and i'm honestly looking forward to it i saw um this morning that the film made uh, 117 million just this weekend. Yeah, which is very good. Yeah, I mean, I was actually really happy because um, it came out on a Wednesday here rather than a Thursday, and so it actually it, we have um, basically we have meerkat Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and <laughs> where we get if you get take out insurance with a certain meerkat company, you do get a um, f- buy ticket. So I was very happy the fact that I could actually see it on opening day. And so I took my dad along, so he was quite happy. You know, he wasn't so chuffed about having to sit through right to the end because I said it's a Marvel movie. We are sitting to the end. Oh uh, yes, absolutely. And you know, he's, especially when Captain America popped up and said what he did, but Dad didn't really get the joke and said, "I've just wasted five minutes waiting for that." Um, I thought it was funny, and I thought that worked very well. But it didn't. I was expecting kind of a zinger for like maybe Venom or a singer for In- Infinity War. Or even just something, but no, it was just a little gag, and it worked. But it did leave me like, oh, I wanted to see, I wanted to see where you were going next. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I just, I don't mind the Marvel post credit scenes. I don't. But then it's like, some of them are kind of disappointing for me. Mm-hmm. Like, and that was that was a little disappointing for me. Yeah, I, will, I mean, I, I will admit. Yeah, I mean, I think they did a good job of setting up. I mean, that whole thing with you know, Tombs facing off with the Scorpion. Um, you don't know he's a Scorpion yet, you know, he hasn't got his powers or anything, but that could be con- interesting to see, you know, if that comes up as he's the next major villain in Spider-Man Homecoming 2 or whatever they want to call it. So that could be good. Um, but no, I, I generally just walked out thinking, great, this is going to be a movie and I will watch lots. Of, I, I, I just know that this is going to be a movie that I w- can just drop in and out of, you know, if it's on TV or Netflix and all that, you could watch half an hour of it and you don't, Whereas some movies, you know, you know, like if you put like Batman Begins on, you know, the first hour and a half, he's not even in a suit, kind of thing. Oh yes, any any Batman movie to be quite <laughs> honest, any they're just so long for no reason. The only thing I did get me with, I, I thought like Michael Keaton, it's it's that thing for me because he was you know Beetlejuice Batman. That's kind of what I you know that it was that thing of. I thought he played it quite well. It, I did like him as the villain. I thought he did it pretty cool. Again, I go back to the I go back to the comic book and the animated series from the nineties where he was a, a an old man that was after youth and just wanted to basically just suck the youth. So it was that weird thing of like, wow, they it was it was completely different. He was just like a you know a criminal that did had a problem with Stark because Stark you know blamed Stark for it all. But as a whole, you know, it seemed, it seemed to work quite well. And then yeah, I mean, I I be honest, I almost felt like the shocker didn't need to be in it. I agree. I mean, I just feel like there's like little small things like that were either necessary or unnecessary. My biggest is Flash, but you know that could be a whole other podcast in itself. To be yeah. honest, yeah. I mean, I mean, like, I enjoyed. I really yeah, did. Yeah. It definitely it's that thing of like really enjoying it, loving it. You know, it seemed the pacing seemed to be good. I don't think at one point that I ever there was none of that kind of like how long's left or uh, where we're we going with this. It, you know, I was completely mesmerized for the entire movie and it, you know, it worked really well. Um, but no, it just, it just, it definitely hit the mark. I think this one's going to be a very strong Marvel movie. Um, and I think Tom Holland, he just seems to just get being Spider-Man and he's just having a blast with it. You know, especially when you see him on all the interviews and stuff, you know, it, it doesn't feel like much of a stretch for him actually, because he just seemed to be very excited about doing it and kind of how it, it definitely works for him. I mean, in a way, it's kind of like how you just 
know, like, you just look at Chris Evans and you know, like, yes, that is Captain America. Like, with or without the suit, that is Captain America. That's how I feel about Tom Holland. Like, yes, this is Spider-Man. Yeah. This is the one I needed years ago. Yeah, no, it's definitely good. I mean, I mean, we were having a, I was having a discussion at work the other day, and so they're going, oh, they've done another reboot. And it's like, well, they actually already done the reboot because he's already been in a movie. But, um, and it's that kind of thing. I'm like, no, this is, this is, this is a really good this is they you know and i think there's that thing of he's been rebooted so many times there's a little bit of um like oh, we've already had seen we've already spider-man's already been on the screen but i think they have done an amazing job with this one and i think the way they the only thing that they get me there was no that scene where like we see in all the trailers of iron man and flying through with spider-man swinging by and wasn't in the movie you're right i didn't even realize <laughs> that i really did not realize it's just like nope that wasn't in there at all didn't do it once um but no it's like i said i love the boat scene i thought that worked really well of just of why tony takes the suit away you know being at the avengers um big facility all the stuff with the moving away and the little throw offs to like you know ultron and four and interconnecting it all with the mcu i just i just felt very good and i definitely just sitting here now just going great movie go see it you know, you got all summer. You know, it, this is this is a great summer blockbuster. Yeah, the, like based on what I'm reading, it's the second biggest hit of the summer, right yeah. after Wonder Woman. Mm. But I'm biased, so. <laughs> yeah, I I think it will. I think it will do. I think it will do more than Wonder Woman because I think the marketing's behind it. Probably. Ooh, yeah, that's true. Because Wonder Woman had almost no marketing, whereas like you know they have Tom Holland out here doing like. Like creepy Starbucks videos where he's coming yeah, out. That, that was so cool that they did that. Well, he wasn't didn't do that one, did he? Did just yeah, some... he didn't do that one. Yeah. I just thought, I just realized. I, must, I saw that one the other day, and um, you know, I still think back to this thing where he did the lip, the lip sync battle with Rih- as Rihanna. You know, that was yes. you, know, you know that kind of thing of him just you know his, his acrobatic skills really show off at this point. But as I said, great movie, loved it. Um, a few nitpicks here, but that's re- that's kind of almost like. It's almost that really bad thing. You're like, you know, you've had this amazing meal, but you're like, mm, I didn't like the peas. <laughs> <laughs> but no, it was, it, I really enjoyed it. And I, I, you know, I definitely would recommend it. Yes. I, go see it. If you haven't seen it, I don't know. Just turn us off and then come back and just yeah. enjoy us. <laughs> yes. On that note, guys, let us know in the comments below what you guys feel of the Spider-Man Homecoming movie. You can hit that subscribe button to keep up with the latest videos from us. Check us out over at thiskingdom.com. You can also find us on the audio platforms as well. And if you're a Marvel fan, um, we're also giving away a copy of Guardians of the Galaxy, the Telltale game this month. So you'll find all the information over at thiskingdom.com forward slash giveaway. So, Victoria, where can they find you? They can find me on Twitter at he calls me PP and Instagram he calls me Pineapple Princess. And on that note, guys, thank you very much for watching. See you guys soon. Later. Bye.